And welcome, everybody. It is absolutely great to have you here. My name is Keith Barker, and I've created a brand new PT, Packet Tracer Lab, for you to get hands-on practice. Now, if you're saying, Keith, what exactly is Packet Tracer? I'm new here. Let me share with you what Packet Tracer is all about. It is a free simulator from Cisco Systems, and you can sign up for a free account at netacad.com. Sign up for a free account, and then you get this simulator called Packet Tracer, which lets you practice. It looks something like this. Let's you build, you know, wireless technologies, Ethernet, trunking, routing, switching, all the all the cool stuff that you might want to learn in CCNA. You can do right here in Packet Tracer. So to get Packet Tracer, uh, to get a, le a licensed copy of it, which is free, sign up at netacad.com. And then what I've done is I've created dozens and dozens of Packet Tracer labs for you to practice with, and you can get those right here. So if you just go to thekeithbarker.com, I'll put links below in the description as well. Just scroll down. And then there's the one I just created recently. It was this guy right here. Cisco PT for Packet Tracer, OSPF slash T-Shoot. Now, if you're brand new to the world of Cisco and hands-on practice, you can approach these labs in different ways. One is you can say, well, um, I'm going to look at this lab. And you can still practice the basic things you're learning at the beginning, like how to get into privilege mode, like enable, and how to do basic show commands. And you can still practice all those things right here in this lab. Or if you have some experience, with routing protocols like OSPF, or if you have practice with things like VLANs and switching, you can actually take advantage of the troubleshooting I have built into this lab and resolve it. So let me share with you the objectives I would love for you to attack. We have a couple of users up here. I've got Lois and Bob, and also PC2 right here. So PC2 and Bob should both be able to open a browser to server one, which is here, and to server two. So if we open up their browsers in their respective packet tracer simulators, uh, we should be able to go and type in server one and server two. That means DNS resolution is going to happen or should happen to the IP addresses, and there should be connectivity. And it should open up a little pseudo web page on either one. That's it. Now, now, if you're somebody who's saying, Keith, <laughs> bring on the challenge. I want more. I would also encourage you to do this from Bob right here as his traffic goes down to the server two. I would encourage you to have it use this path because this is the optimal path. This is gigabit. This is gigabit. This is a uh, S for stinking slow serial. And this is fast ethernet right here, which is 100 megabits per second. So to verify that from Bob's device, you could go to the command prompt and do a trace RT, T-R-A-C-E-R-T, -E the IP address of the server, and then verify that it's going through the right path. That's bonus points. Now, if you're up to it, I would love it if you would do this. Number one, don't give do any spoilers for other people who are watching this video and may want to download it, the, the Packet Tracer Lab and practice it. I want them to get that practice. But secondly, if you have done this and you have solved both problems, I mean, I'm boom, throwing down the gauntlet here. If you can do both, solve both problems, Bob getting to both servers, the PC2 getting to both servers, and Bob going to server two uses the optimal path, I would like you to go ahead and write in in the comments for this video, I did the lab solve both of the issues. That'd be awesome. And if you're brand new and you're not quite at that point yet, no worries. You can come back to this lab. It'll be waiting for you. And uh, we encourage you here on the Keith Barker channel to learn and grow and share and continue studying. And we also have a Discord server as well. It's also free. The YouTube videos are free. The Discord server is free. And you can jump on there and chat with other like-minded people who are going to support you and encourage you and answer your questions in your journey towards your CCNA certification. So that's the lab I wanted to present to you in this video. I'm also going to start a new special segment called What's Next Wednesdays? And you might say, Keith, whoa, what exactly is What's Next Wednesdays? I just got, I have two new people in my life. Uh, well, these are people I've known for a long time, but two new people, people who are just starting their journey in the world of Cisco. And I, I remember as I'm talking with them, the thrill of taking a device like a switch or a router and like, okay, what do these ports do? And plugging into a console port for the first time. And what is, a ter what is a terminal emulator? And what settings do I need to talk to this bad boy out of the box? So I'm going to start a little short segment called uh, What's Next Wednesdays. I'm going to have them delivered every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific. And they're going to focus on individual short pieces of information that are going to be really helpful for somebody who's just starting out. Things that we take for granted sometimes but are really important to just somebody who's just starting out because we want to reduce the friction between you and getting your CCNA and your certification and the experience. And so that uh, what's next Wednesdays is going to be an attempt uh, in that direction. We'll see how it goes. I'll put in a playlist as well. 
All right, that's it. Enjoy the hands-on lab. If you do successfully get it done, let me know in the comments below that you did it. And I wish you the best of success in your journey in the world of CCNA, CCNP, CCIE, any vendor you want, as long as you continue learning and growing. All right, have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.